this is a product video for Avery Dennison's Neo Paint Protection Film. The Neo line is a distinctive solid color paint protection film that is a hybrid film with a unique polyurethane and adhesive technology that results in an OEM paint-like finish. The Neo line can be used for full coverage wraps along with accents like hoods, roofs, stripings, and mirrors. The top layer has a very good self-healing performance which helps it absorb scratches and debris. It is also very resistant to stains and yellowing. If using templates for the Neo line, remove the cap sheet before putting the film in the plotter and check the blade depth to ensure a proper cut. To access the Avery Dennison's template system, you can go to this URL and weeding is standard. Also, be sure to roll the panels up with the liner facing out. Always be sure to wash the car before install and avoid using any waxes. In some cases, unlike PPF installs with clear gloss or matte, with Neo it may be necessary to remove hardware in order to ensure full coverage. With the hardware removed, rinse the surface, then be sure to fully clay bar the areas being wrapped. Also, open up sections like this hood in order to clean and especially degrease all the edges to help ensure long-term hold. If installing bulk style, measure with excess material in mind for hold during the install and wraparound purposes. And on some sections, like the corner of this hood and roof, precisely applying adhesive promoter will help ensure long-term hold. Also, for rubber molding in the gaps, be sure to clean behind the rubber as the Neo will be applied behind it. Right before install, spray down the surface of the section being applied thoroughly with a slip solution. Be sure to use a pressurized sprayer to ensure the surface doesn't dry out. And for smaller sections, like the roof of this BMW, one installer can comfortably work by themselves. Remove the cap sheet before setting the panel up for installing. And always spread the solution out evenly underneath the Neo film, then squeegee in overlapping strokes be sure to peak the squeegee to force the solution out. For gaps, be sure to cut on the window side to ensure that there is enough excess film to go behind the rubber. And for gaps like where the roof molding goes, make a floating cut with a very short blade. Use a tack solution or the pod steamer in order to flush out the glide solution or gel. And always focus on the corners first, keeping in mind that the neofilm is 6.5 millimeters thick so extra attention and a higher skill level is required to ensure that the final result is wrinkle free. For the rubber molding in the gap, use an Avery Dennison Flex Stream for tucking the film safely behind. For large sections, a good tip with Avery Dennison's Neo Film is to spray the surface down with extra slide solution than normal. The same is true for spraying the adhesive side when removing the liner. This is to help ensure that the adhesive doesn't tack too prematurely to the surface during install, and note that it's best to work with two installers to ensure that moving the panel from the peel board to the vehicle is safely done. Remove the cap sheet once in place on the hood. Then it's a good idea to lock the Neo panel on an outside area in order to stretch the panel safely. Then form the slip solution into wide recessed areas first to ensure coverage to avoid any kind of adhesive lines. Then squeegee an even sequence in sections to manage the film properly. For corners, like on this hood, for spray tack solution on the adhesive and surface, then using the corner of a soft squeegee, pick the film up several inches away from the corner and hook it. It's critical to hold the corner in place with a finger for several seconds to ensure proper hold. When cutting the excess film away, make an underside cut flush to the bottom of the corner and neutralize either side of the corner roughly one quarter of an inch. For the flat sections in between the corners, cut the excess film about a half inch away from the edge and using scissors is safest. Flush the adhesive with a tack solution or steam, then soak up the moisture with a microfiber towel. Note that using steam will help speed up the sealing process compared with air drying. For an even edge, cut the excess film away on the underside using a 10 degree angle surface cut. For deep recessed areas, like on this Challenger hood, expose the adhesive, flush the adhesive out with a tack solution, then form the neofilm in. It is very conformable. With the section being applied with the neofilm finished, 
Go over the entire surface with steam in order to activate the adhesive, self-heal any scratches on the surface, and clean off any glider gel solution. Then wipe down the surface with a soft absorbent microfiber towel. The neoline can also be used for custom stripes. To ensure full coverage on the surface and edges, work the stripes in sections and be extra precise when lining up pre-cut panels. On certain edges, like the inside of the hood, use the tuck and cut approach with a squeegee assist to ensure the film doesn't shift. For mirrors, the bulk style is recommended as the neofilm will be taken all the way to the edge. Adding a touch of steam when stretching evenly on all sides is critical to ensure long-term mold. Even out any tension with micro adjustments on the film, then once it's glassed out, simply squeegee normally towards the edges. Click before cutting to ensure a sharp blade and note that the excess film will often be cut flush to the edge in order to get full coverage. Be sure to avoid wrapping around tight drop off edges. And with this style of cutting, cleaning is critical in order for the film to hold the edge for the long term. Pull the excess film always away from the surface that it was applied and then use a squeegee and a microfiber towel to force any moisture out towards the edge to ensure a proper seal. The result is extra high gloss stripes and mirrors that have an OEM paint-like finish. With the install complete, always recycle the cap sheet to help with the environment. And for removals, it's recommended to use a steamer to soften the adhesive. And note that the neo line may remove in pieces, so factor this in to the install process and make any adjustments necessary. The neo line comes with a warranty of up to five years and to read the data bulletin and for more information on the Neoline, you can go to this URL. This has been a product video for Avery Denison's Neo Paint Protection Line. Proudly produced by the Rap Institute.